and gentlemen, this is the ambassador of the World Wrestling Network, Trevin Adams, and I am joined by my girlfriend, SoCal Mel. Oh, it's so like you to uh, mispronounce your name in the first match, Trevor. Oh, boy. Good to be, see you, though. Is it going to be one of those nights? I think it's always one of those nights. Good Lord. Well, ladies and gentlemen. So what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bonus match before FIP presents Everything Burns 2016. Your main card of Everything Burns 2016 will get started in just a little bit. But we're getting a treat tonight, triple threat bonus match. It's very cool to have this bonus match. You know, this is especially exciting because in the first matchup of the night, you know the guys are so hungry for this, they're so excited. Well, yeah, and honestly, when it comes to the, the, the talent that are on this show, and then you look at the talent that are in this match sure. before the show, the bonus match. It's all top notch. Absolutely. Like, we're gonna have a champion, and you'll see him in a moment. But the next man coming out now, Desmond Xavier. Huge upside. So for those of you who watch Dreamwave, Dreamwave Pro Wrestling. Donovan Danhausen, regular there. Desmond Xavier, regular in Combat Zone Wrestling. In fact, he'll be on CZW tomorrow. Chief plug CZW. Well, dreamy indeed. You know, as, as a female here at the commentary booth, which, by the way, it was long overdue. You know, these guys are in amazing shape. Check out the physique on both of these guys. And that's I'm not already all. impressed. I figured you'd like these two. For once in your life, you're right, Trevor. Once in a lifetime, but again, that is not all because we have the ECW Light Heavyweight Champion on the show as well. So indeed, Val, ECW, in fact, they have a great event tomorrow night in Newport Ritchie. ACW presents My Bloody Valentine. Ooh. What a name, right? American Combat Wrestling. Great promotion here in Florida. Staple of the scene for years. Blanco Loco, not the first time we've seen him on WWNLive.com. In fact, tomorrow night he's going to defend against Josh Hess. But tonight, non-title action against two men that, as I pointed out, blue chippers, talent who've worked all over the United States of America. And really, they've recently converged on Florida. It seems like a lot of talent are converging on Florida now. It's, it's definitely the place to be. And obviously, you know, Full Impact Pro is the place to be if you want to make it to that next level. I was talking on the Periscope pre-show, by the way, guys. Hopefully you tuned in about how important it is to be on these shows because this is where the hungry come to feed. And this match in particular is going to be very exciting. I do love a one-on-one -on -one matchup. But this is going to be thrice as nice. Thrice as nice. This triple threat action is bound to be great. Look how, look at the looks on, the, on their faces. You know they're just so determined to prove themselves here tonight at the Orpheum. Well, yeah, this is one fall to a finish. So it's definitely kind of a, a unique position of how do you, how do you get yourself so that you have the advantage, but you're going to be blindsided if you're not careful. You can see Donovan Danhausen there. Smartly controlled, but I, you saw that little wink from uh, Dez. Ooh. Xavier kind of gave him the, hey, why don't you go for it? And now the man in control, I'll be a Blanco. Known for his lucha style. Wow. For those of you who haven't gotten to check out American Combat Wrestling, it's kind of like a little, little preview match kind of action you see on ACW, the light heavyweight champion here. And that's a really cool thing for them to be able to showcase their talents here on a bonus match at FIP. Absolutely. Wow. And all three of these men, as we pointed out already, guys that are, are very interested in being regulars in Full Impact Pro, getting a huge opportunity tonight to show what they can do. And what a kick from Dez right there, Desmond Xavier. Cleaning Donovan's clock, folks, still pouring into the Orpheum here. We're just getting started. Quite a bit of traffic on I-4, that's normal. I do believe it made Johnny Gargano late to a show recently. Oh my goodness. How about that over the top bro? Well yeah. that just shows how exciting these shows are, Trevor. Everyone is just backing up traffic to see all of these superstars here at FIP. Yeah, you're not kidding, Val. And there we go, Desmond Xavier. Ew, he touched a fan, Trevor. Can we get some Purell over here? And I mean for me, because Trevor's, you know, a little too pushing close, it. Huh? Yeah, a little too close. So now we're down to Dez and Blanco in the ring. Blanco catching catching Xavier on his way in. 
Interesting, all the fans are taking a lot of pictures tonight. It's cool that they're so interested in these new superstars that a lot of them have never seen before. So again, really great opportunity for these guys here to be in this bonus match. This is really an introduction to the fans for them. Well, that's it, right? It's, you know, it's previewing a lot of ways of what all these men can do. I already pointed out promotions they're regulars at. Great belly to belly there by Donovan. Managed to wow. Whoa. catch Xavier and again, overhead. That was fantastic. Young technician here. Recently was part of one of the WWN, WWN triads in New York. And I believe Desmond Xavier did the WWN tryout down here in Ybor City. Yes, and I'd like to point out, when I first met this young gentleman here, I remember how polished and professional I thought he looked. Just goes to show you, you know, how you put yourself together, how you present yourself as a new wrestler within WWN. He was very impressive from the get-go. And now seeing him in the ring, I think it really does match his outward look. So I'm, I'd like to see more from him. I'm very intrigued. Oh, you're right. What a knee by Desmond Xavier. Blanco Loco in some trouble. Again, this is a non-title matchup, and it would probably go a ways wow. if Blanco. And... Oh. Holy crap. Does he have it here? Corkscrew oh. right there. So you should never say done unless you're sure you're done, right? Yeah, well, I just would have thought that would have been. And after what he just did there, who knows what Desmond Xavier is going to do from the top rope. Blanco Loco's in some trouble here. Whoa. Wow, going for a shooting star, Beautiful, but he lands on his feet. Wow. And what a running European from Donovan. He's European? See, I, I knew he dressed well. I knew. That's got to be it. Oh, look out, Donovan. Oh, wow, what a DDT from the top rope there. Catching Donovan, I don't think he expected that. And that's it. Wow. What a matchup. Holy crap! Well, you know, a valiant effort from both competitors, but that is why he's the light heavyweight champion. No, you're not kidding, Val. And we're just getting started here once again. Thank you for tuning in to the bonus match before FIP presents Everything Burns. We have a huge main event tonight, the FIP World Tag Team Champions, the Hooligans. They're going to be defending against a unique team, Nick Manwa approved. Reed Bentley and Kerry Awful. We'll talk a little more at the top of the show about why the replacement there, let alone Johnny Vandal getting a shot at Maxwell Chicago, that huge six man, the MSL Universe, versus the three boys from Atlanta, Black Baron, Stitch Osiris, and Odinson, and so much more. So much more. This is going to be a great night. Here, the, the atmosphere here at the Orpheum is already electric. Again, traffic is backing up for fans getting into this show. Great effort by these guys in the bonus match, but I am ready for FIP Everything Burns. How about you, Trevor? Oh, I, I, I'm Tickle Pink. I can't wait to get in the ring and introduce this show with you. And again, for those of you who check this out, especially impressed by Blanco Loco, our ACW Light Heavyweight Champion, you can check him out live tomorrow night. New Provinci, to the All Sports Arena. ACW presents My Bloody Valentine. I want to say 7.30 p.m., but I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me. And that will be available. Video on demand in just a few short days on WWNLive.com. Awesome. All right, for SoCal Val, Trev and Adams, we're going to take a quick pause before we begin the main card of FIP Presents Everything Burns 2016. Did you just talk for me? Yeah. 2.0 sound. This one appears to be very forceful. Let's go, time man. Let them know who you represent. For the savior in the favor of the Lord, meet your makeup. It'll take you to a place that you never ever thought you would have made it. Huh? It'll take you. What, what is it gonna take for your people to see that I got something that I can bring? Huh? And I don't live with the figures of people who really don't know what they're talking about and do what I sing. Huh? This is what I mean. Huh? So I took my challenge to South Florida so that I can rap it for the king. Huh? I was a wrestler working in FCW so that I can make it to the next level and hit the scene. Huh? So they got the brain. Huh? Something for my children to give them a better life than the one I gave them and be. <laughs> Everything and overcome opinions of people who thought I never would in mind and I never could. I get Cheap. Cause I'm from Akron, Ohio, and I'm not supposed to be here when I know that you think that I really don't have what it takes. Am I supposed to roll up and die cause you said my career was over? Can I think? They doubted the king was amazing at working the way to deserve it, the savers the servant would take us. Uh -huh. I don't fit the protocol so that y'all can tell me that I'm not supposed to make it out overall. No. Jesus is the way and the truth. But they say he's a